Well, as you saw, we got the flywheel off in relative, with relative ease. Uh, back setup was caked down really, really full of uh, dry gravel, dust, whatever. But getting ready to take the, uh, I think it's called the stator off, but basically the uh, plate with the coils. Uh, one thing, and, and uh, reiterating basically what I've seen on, on uh, YouTube and other videos, Basically, you need to uh, scribe around your uh, screw marks or some scribe to indicate the position of this plate in relation to the, uh, the crankcase itself. So I've taken a, a sharp pick and went all the way around the top bolt and also the bottom bolt, or in this case, it's a, a Phillips screw. So hopefully when I remove uh, these screws, then we'll have the outline of their position on this plate. I've also taken a close-up picture of where really this, this slot here is used, I think with a, uh, for example, a screwdriver. I think kind of positions in somewhat like this to help you rotate that plate when you're trying to set the timing. Uh, another tip that uh, somebody suggested was also take a big Phillips screwdriver. Always try to use the biggest bit or point so you have no slop in, in that uh, uh, screw head. And basically wrap it a few times to kind of, uh, kind of break, the, uh, break the lock on it, I guess, uh, so to speak. And I've also done that on the bottom as well. Uh, that's something similar to what you do when you're uh, putting your pullers under tension. Uh, when you're pulling off the flywheel or the clutch sheave, give it a wrap on the bolt and that just kind of breaks things up. So uh, we'll go ahead and uh, unscrew those and uh, I think we're gonna have to unhook this wiring harness down here and I think there's a grommet back there so we'll have to feed the wires uh, uh, through to totally remove it. So that's, uh, that's where we're headed. Stay tuned. So both the screws came uh, released with relative ease. Uh, the nice thing is with, with at least with my screwdrivers is they've got a place to uh, put a wrench in just for better leveraging because otherwise these handles, uh, I just can't get a good grip, and also in this lower position, uh, to try to keep it as horizontal as possible, I'm pretty much down against the uh, the frame or the uh, uh, where the battery battery sits. So I don't have a lot of uh, gripping um, uh, potential. Uh, this top one seems like it's also uh, maybe got a little, let's say, rust or possibly uh, it has the remnants of uh, probably some. Uh, 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 thread tight or Loctite uh, on the thread. So uh, um, we're just, there we go, loosening that up. Yeah, so you can see that this one's got some white residue from uh, uh, some thread locker on it. Not so much on the bottom one though. Yeah, you really can't see evidence of it. Oops, sorry. So let's pull that out. And uh, if things go bad, I'll go ahead and edit this video so you can't see it. Basically, there's, uh, from what I've seen, there's a grommet somewhere on the back side here. And so I'll need to uh, work that grommet out. And I believe probably these wires there. So uh, let me futz with that. Uh, and uh, we'll get back to you. So before I take the wires apart, I'm trying to uh, take some pictures uh, at the same time I'm recording. So we'll uh, kind of get those recorded and then uh, we'll go ahead and separate those and uh, try to work that grommet uh, through the crankcase and the wires with it. So we got the wiring harness separated. One thing I wanted to note is that one of those wires, the connector is actually reverse of all of the other ones. So the male-female relationship is reversed on, uh, looks like the third one. Also the two uh, outer ones, the left and the right one, the uh, female portion of the uh, uh, connector actually has position for uh, two, uh, 
two wires in there, two connectors. Uh, I'm not sure why, uh, but at least on this machine, uh, there's only one wire going in each one of these. So a little uh, tip for you, or be aware. So I'm trying to pull the wires through that grommet. Now rather than just grab the part and just pull on it, uh, I was using a needle nose pliers to uh, basically pull the wire through. So I'm pulling on the wire because I don't know how the wires are connected to, sorry, the back of this part. And then uh, also I was trying to feed these wires back toward the grommet and uh, they are attached to the frame in some fashion, kind of a metal type of zip tie. So we need to remove that before we can uh, uh, pull the wire through in the grommet. And I want to get a picture of that before I take it apart, so here we go. And I take a lot of pictures of uh, things I disassemble because you just never know um, this one you're going to have to refer back to things. See if I can get that wire back there in the uh, grommet. The grommet's actually right there. So that's what we're working toward. So I managed to get enough uh, of the wire pulled through, again using the uh, the needle nose to grip the wire. Um, so basically, even though it's got a uh, wire clamp on the back side of it, you just don't know how much, uh, what it's attached to and didn't want to pull off the wire ends. So let me uh, get it closer for you. So again, there's the grommet up in here, the back side of the, I think it's called the stator plate. And let me capture a couple of pictures. And we'll keep plugging away at this. So you can see that actually there's just not a lot of, uh, um, let's say, mess or I'd say leakage around the oil seals. I don't know if they've ever been replaced or not, but uh, these are, uh, this one's in surprisingly good con condition compared to others I've seen on, on uh, the internet. So let's see, so we're trying to, you know, that was easy. Basically I just uh, gripped the wire a little more and the grommet came out. So now it's just a matter of feeding the, uh, these wire connectors through the hole in the crankcase and uh, we should have it out of there. And we're free. So uh, you can see the grommet wire connectors, uh, so there's not a lot of length to it, uh, not a lot of uh, excess wiring, but uh, you want to be careful. Uh, I'm told that these things are very expensive to have rewound if you can even find them or find somebody to do it. So this appears to be in good shape. Uh, we'll blow it off a little bit and probably use just some uh, uh, electrical uh, component sp uh, spray cleaner to uh, clean that up. But also you can see the scribe marks uh, around the screw head that I made before removing the screws. So uh, they should be ground in or scribed into the metal uh, well enough so that after I clean it, the marks aren't gonna go away. So flywheel removed, uh, all stator, stator plate, I believe is the term, but uh, we're getting closer and closer and closer to uh, uh, pulling that uh, whole crankcase out of there, splitting it, and uh, replacing the uh, connecting rod bearings and just giving it an overhaul.